Hello, air signs. Hello to all my Aquarians, Geminis, and to all of my Libras out there. This reading is this is your weekend reading for the time frame of June. Uh, what's this? June 25th through June 27th. This reading is for all of the air signs, Aquarius, Libras, and Geminis. This is your weekend reading. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading or you just connect with me, then you want to show some support, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell. Hit the thumbs up image to help this video circulate. And if you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. All right. Air signs. What is the energy for my air signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy for the air signs? My Aquarians, Libras, and Geminis. What is the energy for my Aquarians, Libras, and my Geminis for this upcoming weekend? Okay, you may not be talking to someone. That at this time, comment below. Let me know. I see the Four of Cups is here. Four of Cups. Queen of Cups. The Hermit card, verbal energy. Okay. Let me move this up a little. Just a little bit more. Okay. Oh, a jumper. <laughs> That one leaked. Justice Libra's energy is here. Why is this justice card here for my air sun? Sun moon rising and Venus. Okay, let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. Page of Cups. We have the King of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Cups. I'm sorry, the Three of Swords in the reverse. Okay. All right. So let's get one more out of here. Oh, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. And the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I see some type of delays or I see delays, um, disappointments, spying, someone feeling as if they are working on eggshells. I just see um, immature energy. And with this four of cups, Someone may feel if if they are as if they are being ignored. Someone feels as if um someone feel, someone feels as if they're being ignored and it's causing some causing them to feel very emotional. This person is very emotional at this time because they feel like you are ignoring them now remember the energies could always go either way so apply the energy as it fits to your story because again as i said you may be giving someone the silent treatment or if you are talking to this person is to the bare minimum i feel like you have withdrawn your energy with this hermit card verbal energy because you're trying to gain some type of clarity and enlightenment and I feel like it's pertaining to if things are going to a higher level of commitment in this union with this justice card. You um you balanced out your energy by walking away. You left because there was there is a cup that's left there, and it's full. 
And I feel like that's this person. This person does love you. However, you walked away because you needed to balance out your energy. Take a look within yourself. And this union was not going to a higher level of commitment. With this page of cups, I felt like this person could have been giving you just a small token of their love. The bare minimum. And I feel like they were taking, they had your heart in their shoe. And what I mean by that is they came in, re they received, because I feel as if you were givers and this person is a taker. And then they took off with your heart. So you had to walk away from their energy. Yeah, you started losing feelings for them, started losing hope. And now, because you moved away from their energy, could have possibly moved away from a third party, you're no longer heartbroken. There's no more confusion. There's no more arguments. There's no more um, bickering back and forth. And with this King of Pentacles, I, because I feel like you know what your worth is. You know what you deserve. Some of you may have a dog. You know what you are you deserve, and I see you being happy and content by yourself and waiting for the right person, happily waiting for the right person to come in, especially with this nine of pentacles. Focusing on your money right at this time. Because this person had you in your head. Um overthinking things. Feeling like you were in a mental prison, constantly thinking about this person while they were out doing what they wanted. And yeah, again, Brad Crummy coming and going as they please because of a third party. Definitely a third party with their Three of Pentacles. And with the Lover's card, this person needed to make a decision between you and someone else and they chose the other person. Could have been a Gemini, but they chose another person and they left you feeling disappointed, let down, betrayed, backstabbed, and you walked away. With their Ten of Swords, yep, you, you walked away because you were tired of waiting on this person. I, I, you were waiting for this person for a long time. Could have been three or more years. Three months or three years. You were waiting for this person for a long time. Waiting for this two of cup. Waiting for this give and take. Waiting for reciprocity. Waiting for a decision to be made. And this person never made the decision. To be with you, they chose to be with someone else. And you walked away. Right? But it, but you gave them time. You waited for this person for a long time. With their eight of wands and a reverse. You waited for that person for a long time. You had a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of anxiety. A lot of tears. A lot of emotional roller coaster. And this person did not acknowledge your feelings. They didn't care. They didn't care to balance things out with you. At all. They didn't care to be consistent. And so that's why things were stuck. Because again, this person needed to make a decision and they didn't they didn't make a decision to be with you. They made a decision, but they made a decision to be with the third party. So now they are coming and wanting a new beginning in love. And you you don't want to work on this anymore. You're tired of feeling like that wounded warrior. You're tired of being hurt. You're tired of not being understood. You're tired of starting over, giving them second chance after chance after chance. And nothing is changing. So... 
tired of being up in your head, having headaches, crying, being disappointed because the situation lacks integrity. And now you're listening to your intuition with that high priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. And your intuition is telling you not to turn, not to look back, to move forward. Heal so that something better can come along that will possibly lead to this higher level of commitment that you want in a marriage. Because this person is still going to juggle you and this and whoever, whomever else they deal with. And you have to close the door because this person had the key to your heart. And you closed that door and locked it and threw the key away. So now you may be disappointed. You may be crying. But guess what? Things are going to start moving fast for you. Things are going to move quickly for you at this time. But I feel like... You, Spirit wants you to take your time in love. Take your time in love. Take your time to heal so that you won't look like a fool again. Start start this new journey. But start it alone. Don't rush into any anything. Focus on yourself. Be open but guarded if that makes sense. Be honest about what you want. So you can get that ten of pentacles, that, that stability that you want. This new beginning that you want. The healing that you need. Be with someone that will come in to help you heal and not hinder to your pain. Someone that is on the same page and on the same level as you. And not someone that's coming in to play games. That will eventually break you down in the long run okay let's get some love oracle yeah see karmic relationship could this person could have been in a karmic relationship with you or with the other person because we have a karmic relationship and but someone is happy in it in a karmic relationship that's this person's energy yeah. This person may need to leave a karmic relationship to be with you. That's what the, this is what these cards are saying. This person needs to leave a karmic relationship to be with you. They need to take a risk and stop running from what they feel because the time has run out or it is running out. So, air signs, I am going to leave it at that. This is your weekend reading. Um, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.